Cool. Okay, this is Christoph with... Well, um, so, hi. Um, a few people have approached me to talk about the uh, flying mode for R. That's not what my mic is talking about. But now everyone knows what I look like, so if you want more demos, that's great. What I actually want to talk, to, talk about is uh, uh, finding someone to fix my dreadful e-list. Um, <laughs> What you've got on the right is uh, an interface to an interface to uh, the BBC's iPlayer, um, which is something that you know, I like to use every so often. Uh, and it, so the back end to this is the get iPlayer Perl script that many of you might have seen um, that goes off and pretends to be an iPhone and sorts of information from the BBC's iPlayer. Um, this is an org struct Emacs front end to all of that, which has all the nice goodies of being able to search for things and page through and so on and so forth. And you can even browse BBC4 on a good day. And on a bad day, what's happening here is that it's attempting to update uh, the iPlayer cache. And it might succeed at doing that, but you will see that it is slow. Um, it doesn't block the Emacs session, so I can carry on doing silly things in this window. But if I'm unlucky, if I'm unlucky, it will insert random strings in uh, uh, buffers. If I'm lucky, as I am here, it will correctly go off and find BBC4, and now I can download, I don't know, um, something extremely exciting like Britain's Natural World, and that will put it in a nice directory uh, where I can view it later. Um, and I guess this is part advert. This does exist, and it does basically work. And I'm also looking for someone who is expert in asynchronous communication with uh, uh, sub-processes to fix my uh, process handling where sometimes something goes wrong. Please help. Or, you know, just use it and download all the BBC's nice streams and view them in your spare time. Thank you very much. Sorry. Where can you find it, is the question. Good question. I think if you Google iPlayer Emacs Lisp, it pops up. That, it, it's on my GitHub somewhere. Um, you know, they're, they're, it's in the cloud. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's a... It's a preemptive feature request. I would like it. <laughs> Never mind. What do you get? Just shout it out. So it's a preemptive feature request. Um, could you write a little bit of Emacs list code that tunnels the traffic through a pretty IP address and achieve a record of the new program? Mm, the question is, can I support copyright infringement on a grand scale? Um, well, no. Uh, I, I have, I have no. Uh, excuse me. I have no better. Probably. No. I don't know. You turned on. Is it green light? I have no uh, publicly accessible UK IP addresses to offer you. So I'm sure that all of those who are very excited about. Uh, BBC streams can, by hook or by crook, uh, get access to them. I would encourage you to pay the license fee under those uh, circumstances as a voluntary donation to uh, one of the best content creators I know. UK politics. It's <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like something that would be really nice in, in uh, EMMS. Yeah, the question that you probably heard the end of, it, it would be nice in EMMS. I confess I tried to use EMMS for a while, and I failed to get on with it. Yes, it probably would. Um, great, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.